we have a, a history together. And I feel uh, uh, it's not unspoken things in the, that I don't say in the show, but for my character, I build that I have, I have some kind of experience with the death of her mother. And I play that underneath subconsciously. And it's a reason that I n not only care for her because she's my best detective, but that I have a personal note underneath that I'm playing too. And so I'm, I'm hard on her and I'm, and I'm also uh, in a way loving, fatherly, uncle you know, not grandfather. Rick Castle humors me. He, 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 he's like a wink from God. He's this, he's this charming rogue that keeps me on my toes, keeps me laughing, keeps me amused, and it gets me a lot of credit by helping solve murders. I look good. He brings out another side of her that I don't see because she's all business with me. And he brings out this little lady in her, whether it's the nice lady or the mean lady, it's still the humanity in her, the human being in her, the woman in her, peeks out when Castle's around. He forces that out of her. My favorite episode is uh, Kill the Messenger because it basically featured me and so I was head to tails, it was me, you know, from the first day to the last day and it was, it's good to get one of those in my, under my belt every now and then. Other than that, I'll sit back and relax. I know I, I would like uh, to, for them to continue to explore my character and give me more depth, give me more opportunities to show different sides of my character and, and I think in, as, it, the, with the success of the show, I think I'll get that opportunity.